the thing I want to do is I just want to go ahead and weld this on and then figure out what I want my next bend and then cut it. I just cut it right here on the bike using the grinder. That looks pretty good. So, I got this one more big bend. I'm pretty much going to think of it as two 90s. Okay, I got two parts I got to go 90 degrees with. So, first thing is find center, cut it, and make the two 90s so I can do each one separately. All right, we've uh, trimmed our first bend off this side. We put an index mark in to keep it parallel with the frame rails. So I'm going to go weld it, but I'm going to go ahead and not just tack this one. I'm going to go put a good weld around it because our next one's got to clamp to this and hold. So, I don't want it to actually move anything. Before I actually extend it anymore, once I'm done, I'm going to weld the rest of these headers all the way up. And then we're going to clamp the header in place before we add, do the add-on and then the rear mounts. I'm still looking for straightness. That looks pretty fucking close. That looks pretty damn good right there. Yeah, it's going out just a little bit. How's that? A little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, well we got it. Once we weld this, so it flex everything to where yeah, it lines up. button on the front, I'm just going to turn the middle and setting. Then uh, the first pass is going to figure out my wire speed. But on flex coil, your wire actually runs a lot of gas. A lot harder to short the target. So, now I want to drag the weld kind of fast so it doesn't blow through, basically. We got this one sitting where we want it with the clamp that's welded up pretty solid. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this pipe. And we want to bring it in right next to this one on the inside. And uh, we already have our 90 that we cut out of our U originally. And uh, we left ourselves enough space. Close to a little lower probably, just to get an inch of bolt. But all I gotta do on this one is just kinda hold that there in a parallel, give myself a mark, and cut my length off. This seems to be lower, so. Is it lower? You want lower? Okay. So, I got a mark, right, now I'll take this off, we'll cut that, and we'll do our fit up on that angle. Right. So these little things I made, um, a couple pieces of angle tacked onto a, a vice grip. They make putting these on really nice. Uh, so the main thing you have to concern ourselves with now is we got to get the links pretty close to the same. It's a parallel twin. They're really, I don't know what the right word is. Sensitive. There you go. They're sensitive. They really like to have them the same length. And on a 500, for a 5,000 RPM range, the correct length's right about 40 inches um, for the back of your valve. So we know from back of valve to end that spick, it was three. So we would just take a string, and you don't go down the outside edge. You go down the center line all the yeah, way down. Line Now I'm going to grab my string, I'm going to go ahead and measure on the inside, just give myself a length. Whatever this ends up at, I'm going to make this one the same length, so it's probably going to end right about here. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and, uh, we already cut it, we measured the difference, and uh, instead of using string, we actually use that housing of a cable, because it bent really nice, which worked out really well. Um, this pipe came out at uh, 43 inches, which is pretty close to where we want it. So we had to add 11 inches to this pipe. Which brings them going off by about four inches in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one tacked up. Go ahead and add a couple mounts to the back. All right. So we got two good welds. Both pipes are held. So now we can just kind of kind of flex it and get them lined up where we want. So now we're gonna put the mounts. So we gotta just look at what we gotta do to make a mount. And once we figure that out, film it. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it. We just gotta finish the little welds here and there. And uh, around the brackets, we just gotta pull it off, but that's how it looks. There you go, probably spare than you can make. You can
by. So you can go buy pots and things like that. <laughs>